Welcome everybody. Hey everybody. Welcome to Ellen Woodside. Welcome to Ellen Woodside. We are here at the front of the school with our Wildcat superhero. And we're gonna go on a tour. But before we do that, you need to know who all these people are. So Mr. Dees, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Mr. Dees, I'm the assistant principal at Ellen Woodside. Hey guys, I'm Miss Varda, I'm the literacy specialist. And I am Mr. McCain, the principal here at Ellen Woodside. And of course, here is our school mascot, Mr. Wildcat with his cape on. And then Miss Sullivan, our instructional coach, is videoing this for us. <laughs> hey, Miss Sullivan. So here we are at the front of the school. And so guess what, Mr. Wildcat? What? <laughs> we have to go inside. So, Are you ready to go inside with us? So when we get to school on the first day of school, what's going to happen, Mr. McCain? So you're going to pull up. Your parents are going to pull up right here. You're going to get out of your car. And then there are going to be adults to help you walk in the school. <laughs> kind of like we're doing with Mr. Wildcat right now. We do want you to make sure when you get out of the car that you come behind this yellow line so that we're away from traffic and we're walking safely down towards the school. So, Mr. D, tell us about this thing on your face. So, we wear face masks. They can be cloth, they can be paper, they can be the neck gaiters um, to help protect other people from germs we might spread. <laughs> this is the door you're going to go in. When you come in every morning, and guess who will be standing right here? Mr. McCain. This is our atrium, so this is where we welcome you into the front of the school. And then depending on what you're doing when you come in, this is, you're going to head one direction or the other. That's right, and parents, guess what? There will be lots of adults right in this area helping getting the boys and girls down to class. So, let's check these dots out. Ms. Varda? What do you think those dots are for? So I think these dots, they look really fun, first of all. I love a polka dot. But I think they're going to be really good for helping us remember to walk six feet apart That's from right. each other. And also, boys and girls, in the mornings, when we go down the hallways in just a few minutes, that is where you're going to sit while you're in bus and car holding area. Media Center. And this is where you come to check out books. And you will get to do that while you're at our school. Miss Tinsley, you want to introduce hello, yourself? Hello, we've been getting the Chromebooks and all the new library books ready for our students. And I can't wait for Miss Woody to join me in the That's library right. and to welcome everyone back. Miss Woody works with Miss Tinsley in the Media Center, so she will help you check out your books. Right. So we need to be on the second block, right? Yes, sir. Following those dots. Now, Mr. Dees, I got a question. Okay. Can I hop to this next block? Um, no, we want to uh, walk in an orderly fashion so that we're not bumping into and falling on people. I figured that was going to be the case. So, the fifth grade hallway is called Dependable Drive. Mr. Let's come in here. Not set up yet, but here it is. Very soon it will be ready for children. That's pretty exciting. Mr. Wildcat, do you want to be in this class? All right, let's set up. Mr. Pease, where do you want to head next? Let's go by fourth grade. Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Her office is connected to Mr. D's office. Oh, those are two so important people. In her office. Two yeah. important people. Look, the oh, there we are. Come on out, Miss Hurst. Hello. Oh, Miss Hurst. Wildcat. Hello. Mr. Wildcat is here. So why don't you tell them what you do at our school? All right. Well, I'm Mrs. Hurst, and I'm the school counselor here. And part of my job will be working to kids in large groups small groups individually helping with them all kinds of stuff to this this year mr mccain awesome. so i'm really looking forward to it and she's gonna do I a sure little missed you yes look we have two visitors mr wildcat more people than me why don't you walk in there and they'll tell you who they are Hi, 
Dr. and uh, Mrs. Stevenson. Well, we're glad you're in here. We hope you have fun at the STEAM lab this year. I know, we can't wait for all the projects we're mm -hmm. gonna get to work on, all the fun things we're gonna learn in the STEAM lab. Here's our science lab. Now, if we do field trips this year, because we can't go on trips, but we can do virtual field trips. Yeah, why don't we walk in? So we can walk in here. And this is where you would do a virtual field trip on the television. So we'll get this room all set up for field trip, virtual field trips, and some science lab. So let's turn on Ambition Avenue and we'll head down to fourth grade. Fourth grade's got a cool little painting on the wall. I think that's Westward Expansion, right? Yes, sir. That's I mean, Westward Expansion. Here's a good one. Come on in. Not set up yet, but this is what a fourth grade classroom will look like. Obviously, Mr. D's, we will set it up so the desks are six feet apart. And we will have markings on the floor so that folks walk in the same pathway. Did y'all notice that? Uh-huh. Good moves. I don't know if I could do that backwards, Miss <laughs> Elder. Let's try that. Okay, Mr. Wildcat, no more jokes. So we'll have our own space in our classroom? Yes, we will. And then when we're in our classroom and in our own space, we can take our mask off? Good question. Yes. We do not have to wear our mask if we're maintaining that social distance. So when your teacher's in the classroom teaching, you can have that mask off. Okay, good to know. Good, good question. All right, let's head to second and third grade. So second and third grade hallway, Miss Sullivan, is Excellence Expressway. So if you're second and third grader, you're gonna look for Excellence Expressway. And we'll head down and see what's going on on second and third grade hallway. All right, second, third grade. They are at the front of the hallway. And we'll walk on into Ms. DeSantis's room. She's already started getting it set up for social distancing. Oh yeah. So Mr. Dees, what happens if I get lost when I come on the front door? Well, it'll be pretty hard. We'll have adults, we'll have student leadership all over the building. So there will be people watching out for you, especially if you're young or new. But if you are lost, you ask someone. Mr. Dees, tell them about this new apparatus. <laughs> now, Mr. McCain, this is pretty exciting. I actually used it today. Okay. So we're, we're trying to control the spread of germs. So we're not going to be using water fountains that we're going to be, you know, potentially putting our mouths on this year. Instead, we have a water filling station for water bottles. So we're encouraging everybody to bring reusable, refillable water bottles. I would give a side note and say, try and make it have a little bit of a wide mouth. It'll be easier. Turn and go down Respect Road and see Miss okay. Lewis. Okay. I'm Mrs. Lewis, the music teacher. Welcome to Ellen Woodside. And she teaches fun stuff. Look at the, check out the drums. Played some instruments. Maybe and, the Wildcat can play us a little oh, bit. She, oh, she, I right. bet he can. Let's see you hit a beat. <laughs> Let's go meet Mr. Tarr. Mr. Tarr's working hard. Miss Sullivan, be sure you check out that cool artwork on the ceiling there. Mr. Tarr does all the cool things. He's gonna get some light on for us. Wow, this is really cool. I think I'm gonna love coming to art. All right, and we'll see Mr. Tarr when school starts. Thank you, Mr. Tarr. See you guys. All right, we are off to, let's go visit Coach Couch. So yep. what does Coach Couch do here? Well, Coach Couch has a special name called Coach because ah. he is kind of like our ball coach. Look at all that stuff we have. Wow. You'll get to use some of that stuff. So hopefully. much fun. Coach Couch, you want to tell them out a little bit at Ellenwood's side? Uh, this will be my 10th year. Oh, 
Where did you go to elementary school? I actually was an Ellen Woodside alumni myself. Yeah. Back when the old building sat up on the hill where the Riley Center is now. And Coach Couch also, and Mr. Tar, help us with afternoon dismissal. So if you're a back car rider or if you are a K-4 or K-5 student, they will be helping you get in your cars. Speak let's go look at the back car circle. Good idea. And let's talk about our little ones coming to school. If I am a K-4 or K-5 student, I'm gonna pull by the Riley Center. My parents, our grandparents, are gonna pull by the Riley Center. Come back here. I'm gonna get out, and adults are gonna be back here at the back door to help me get in my classroom. Yes, Is that sir. right? And they're gonna be able to walk straight into their classroom and meet their teacher on their first few days. So we don't have to worry about the diets. We don't have to worry about getting lost in the school. We just get out of our car and walk straight to the door. That's right, and we will actually help them walk to and find their teacher. We'll have lists, we'll be ready. So what happens if mom or dad or grandma or auntie or somebody wants to watch their little one get out and come into school for the first well, time? Well, we're fine with you pulling up, slowing down and watching. I mean, I'm a parent too. We'd wanna make sure our little ones get to the door. That's not a problem. We just ask that you stay in the car so that we can follow our guidelines from the CDC and DHEC. That's right. So this is also where I'll come if I'm a bus rider in the oh, afternoon, right? Yes. So right at 2.15, and by the way, boys and girls, moms and dad, school start time is 7.45 a.m. and we start dismissing at 2.15. So at 2.15, Mr. Wildcat, you're not gonna believe it. There are yellow buses lined up all back Ooh. here. And the boys and girls will walk, they got a lanyard on, kind of like this. And they walk and we have some adults to scan that lanyard. And then they go get on the bus. We do have one K-4 classroom. And it is here, it's got a lot of stuff in it, but that's okay, we'll be cleaning that up shortly. And they will still get out at the back of the school and those adults will help them get in. So they don't have to worry about the rest of the school building. So All right, let's go down Loyal Lane, home of K-4, I mean K-5 and first grade. Right in here, there's a first grade class. They're on the right side of the hallway for the most part. Going in here? Yeah, let's let's show Mr. Wildcat a classroom in first grade. And the left side is kindergarten. So let's go in here so boys and girls can see a kindergarten classroom and they can see where they will get out in the morning. There's the back car circle through the window. That's where moms and dads and grandmas can watch the boys and girls walk in. And they'll come in here to this cool classroom. All right. So we'll have some dots here in the floor, Mr. Wildcat, and you'll go through and get your breakfast and your lunch. So what do you think? When they come to the school, only come here. And they only come in if it's an emergency. They can't go anywhere else in the building because of safety. So this door right here always stays locked. And so if you need to come in to the front office to do any business, mom and dad, grandparents, you would come in this area. And we have Miss Johnson, Miss Keene, and Miss Ivy that will help us. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a great couple of days, and we will be Excited to see you very, very soon. Wild August 24th. We can't wait. Go Wildcats.